I got into this because I was really taken by the power of music and its the interest of it and all the adventure of it and the complexities and creativity and so I was led into that it into it just by the interest of it I started when I was a teenager with my schoolmates although they didn't have the same determination to stick with it and it led me to think of perhaps using machines in place of other musicians so that I'd have a reliable act so that any gigs that were booked could go ahead. My instruments are mostly made from market crates which I get from the local market late in the day. They have these quite good quality wooden crates which I take to bits and cut to whatever shape, say for a soundboard. I also use old electronics and any other structural bits which I find in skips and by the road. My name is Peter K. Rollings and I am the creator and performer of Experimental Sonic Machines. A brief history of my musical career would start with having lots of spare time and so we'd go to the village hall, me and me school friends, with just old acoustic guitars and any tins and Tupperware containers for drums. And then going on from that, I'd be trying to make music machines on my own, just using junk and stuff and cardboard discs. And then in later years, I would go on to just being quite a conventional musician, just playing electric bass guitar with pub bands. Through all that time I was still wanting to get to originality. So we came to a few years ago where I just got some tin cans and, and also uh, an old bike wheel which would beat out a simple rhythm and that's how I did my first open mic performance. The main instrument I use on stage is a mechanical rhythm machine powered by a small motor which turns a, a plastic disc to which is attached a cylinder and in that cylinder there's screws in a pattern which lift beaters in, a, in that pattern which is programmed and they fall onto two paint tins and beat out a rhythm which I've programmed into it and that is a background rhythm which I can then do solos and songs to on homemade electronic instruments made from found components and a few that I have to buy and there's also a simple guitar having a rectangular sound box and that's got a sing single string on it which makes very primitive bass lines and there's a larger one called a banjo the name comes from word banjo and the idea of this strumming disc which flows around right, so it comes to the name flanjo so they are the main instruments and hopefully more will be built in the future how i come up with new instruments and do they work well it's a case of just thinking really hard and pondering things often at the start of the day when my brain is working best the most important work the day may seem like I'm not doing anything. I'm just sort of sitting there thinking and pondering things. Someone looking at me would think I'm not doing much, but I think that's the most important work of the day, is designing things and thinking about how to achieve them. My inspirations and influences come from Joy Division, New Order, which have this, this really brutal, monumental power to them which was so exciting and visceral and really got your emotions and it was natural to want to do that sort of thing myself really get away from the easy listening weak sounds of the Bee Gees and the, the Carpenters all that overproduced music and really get to the, the really fiery heart of music
when I started with open mics, I wouldn't wear these things, and it actually take, took a bit of cover, courage to wear one of these things for the first time, because you don't know if you're going to be laughed and jeered off the stage, and that is linking in with my long interest in the mystery plays with their fascinating masks and it what it means is that my actual appearance which isn't that entertaining I do look quite ordinary and dull I don't think anyone would be entertained much by how I normally look and so I wanted to en enhance my appearance and make it fine science fictiony and something that would hold your interest. My live performances are an evolving thing and for a long time I've been quite unhappy with them because I've been struggling with the equipment and so I've not been able to get into the music. I've been more focused on plugging this in here, adjusting that there, setting that up there but now I'm starting to get to the point where I can I've developed the instruments enough that I can get lost in the music that's what I like most of all just to get into the the moment my future plans for the experimental sonic machines is to build on this distinctive out of tune style which I think is quite refreshing in this world of really high precision perfect instruments where you get perfection at a touch of a button. There's no set plan to this project so let's see where it will take me.